All right, friends. It is a beautiful day out today. It is time to maybe do one last video. Maybe we'll get more. We will start here with the purple crew. Um, I put the purple crew right here and then over to the side over there so that they could be viewed all summer long. This is the goat right here. I just picked most of those. Um, we have the Fadas White right here. Beautiful blushing. Uh, absolutely packed in there. The bubblegum over here by Pink Tiger. These are looking real cool too. That one went bad. Oops, that happens. These are not ripening nearly as fast. Those are both the only ones that have gone so far. You have the Butt by Nada Peach. Do note, I don't care how I pronounce these. I just say whatever's most fun. That is loaded too. Then we have the Reaper by Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. These guys are really awesome and loaded. There's, who knows, 50, 75 in there and more on the way. The Purple Death over here. Get that in the view. These are a little slow to ripen. Um, there's a lot of the orange up top you can see. Then we have the Blood Ghost. It hasn't grown a whole lot of branches, but each one is just stacked. That's pretty cool. Over here we have the Carbonero Orange Long. These ones are not really long. Kind of just little pumpkin balls, but it's pretty loaded for a little three gallon. Over here is my other three gallon in the air. It is a Frankenstein bubblegum. Um, I don't think it's Frankenstein, but it's definitely bubblegum. There's a bigger plant in the back. I haven't seen the stems get so so red all the way up to the, the stem before. It's kind of cool on these. Uh, I got some paprikas over here. Not as cool, right? We have a habanada and a second habanada right there. The red one behind it is a cross. I believe it was with a Carolina Reaper. We have the uh, Trinidad Perfume by the little balls right there. Let's finish up those guys over here. If I shimmy myself through this little path, I get two. This is another Trinidad perfume. This is actually cross. They turned out spicy. About as spicy as the Granada seasoning over here, which are also just loaded. So I've got three of... This is all one plant. I can't even hold this back far enough to get a good view. It's just huge. This guy back here is another Granada seasoning. Still can't see in here, it's too loaded. Yeah. Over here is a Trinidad Pimento. Uh, this is a bad one right here. The only plant that got like this. Um, it didn't spread to any of these around here. So I just kind of left it and said, we'll see what happens. Uh, some bad pods in there. The plant is a little unhealthy. But we get over to this one over here. A real good Trinidad Pimento. Pretty loaded. The second one, or a third really in the back. Um, let's continue on these two. This is a, a Sweet Moruga. There are three of them in here. That is one, the second there, and can I get a view of that back one there? Yep. And beyond that we have that would be a No Heat Primo. There are three of them in here too. Uh, these aren't getting the greatest sunlight. Uh, so they've kind of petered out on growing their pods and ripening them. They're doing alright. Can't really see much there I guess. Alright, to continue back with the Purple Crew. Um, we have Hollow's Eve. 
This is getting pretty loaded. Those are really cool orange pods over here with a nice blushing. Next up is the purple gator jigsaw. Is it hard to see exactly which ones? Um, they have a beautiful red to orange going on. Um, I get up under here. Where are we? There we go. Look at this one. Shows that nice orange to red blushing of the purple on the top. Uh, pretty cool shapes everywhere. Pretty wrinkly and gnarly. Then is the Pink Tiger by Peach Butt. These are also a real cool blush and color change. They go fully orange, sort of like right there. There's some beautiful blushing over here. Then we have a uh, Fox Dark Naga Peach at the end. More of a tangerine orange peach color. That plant, as you can see, is pretty huge. Uh, it's October in a couple days. I don't know if most of those are gonna go. They're gonna go ripe. I'm guessing not. Um, some of the non-purple crew, we have a Melrose. These are a real sweet, delicious pepper right here. Kind of like, they look like the Shishido, but they have more of a, a tang to them, I guess you could say. This is a Petite Marcellius. Yeah, that one went bad. I haven't felt like dealing with these. Um, they're decently prolific for what they are. They're not super, super thick. They're kind of thinner wall. So they grow a lot of them. All right, down here is actually an HJ3, the Hing Jalo or something, I don't know. Then we have down here a chocolate paprika. This little guy is just changing. There's two of them in that, in that here. But these might be a cross because they're not as big. Those actually are, um, as you can see. I can't really see it from that angle. It's trying to bend out here because it's getting out light. These guys up here are taking it all. Oh well. Lesson learned on how to position all of my plants. We got a... What is this? Vizenka. Look at that corking. Gorgeous. This guy in here is also pretty shaded out by the ones above him. Oh well. They're cool though. Then we have uh, those. these took a little too long to ripen and grow. Uh, I haven't even gotten one from the right plant. There's two of them in this one too. And we'll go over to my favorites here. Uh, these are all in 15 gallons. We got three per. It is the Lemon S LSJ, uh, Lemon Spice Jalapeno, uh, three Havasus, this is these white ones. They're cracking pretty hard. I don't know that I'm going to bother with them again. These guys are, um, what's the name, Cajun Bells. And we have Mexibels down here, again three per. They're a little crowded with three plants and a 15 gallon. We have uh, garden salsa and then what I'm calling the not banana. And this is bought as a banana plant, but it is not, as you can see. Oh, I just noticed this. This is a pretty loaded little, little branch. Like seeing this. We've got a candy cane chocolate cherry. Beautiful pods. Look at that. Uh, then we have a... Two, actually. Uh, CWW, Chocolate Wild Wonder. Look at those big, long pods. These are taking really, really slow to ripen as well. They're starting, but... Um... And in my, uh, we'll, we'll finish up over here. I think we have an Aleppo right here. Oh, 
Well, that one's wrecked. I have not gotten to these as much to pick. Another Havasu in its own. And we have some more uh, not bananas. Two more not bananas right here. Both are quite loaded. And this one over here is a Jimmy Nardello. It's a not hot one that is very, very sweet. We've got another not banana. We've got some more Mexibels. Look at all those loaded Mexibels up there. The whole plant. Alright, the one behind it is just doing great too. Big fan of how good those are doing. The Cajun Bell, almost the same. Not quite. Maybe they're just not as loaded because I picked more of them. And this one back here, you can see tons of them. It's doing great. Uh, this guy right here is a Jalapeno by Marconi Cross. F2 even. So there's two guys in there. And these three guys are also Jalapeno by Marconi Crosses. Uh, they didn't actually end up being the greatest. Uh, there's three more now in this big plant. So these big guys right here, I have found are actually okay. Or it might be this one that went bad down there. Oh, great. Or this guy. Anyways, only one of these was decent. Um, the rest were kind of just meh. We have two more lemon sour or lemon spice jalapenos. Those guys are doing real good. Some bigger ones. I guess these aren't bigger, but I have seen some in there. We'll move over to the center piece. I have a bunch of my crosses here, just randomly. I think it's a Bacadam and a Chinesni, maybe even a Anum. But those two are sisters, the orange ones. The red one and the yellow one here were also sister seeds. Um, this guy with the little ones, I think these are F3s now. So there's still a lot of variability. And this guy over here were sisters. Way different for those. Um, in the middle up top, we have no heat primos, just like I had three over on the ground. These guys were extras, and I didn't want to kill them. I'm very glad. They look awesome up here. And we have a Bootla Bubblegum 7. Those guys look pretty cool. They, I don't know if I can find one. A lot of them ripened with this little tail in the bottom green and the top got brown to start with. On the back side here we have more of my crosses. This one I think was an Anum and not like a Chinesni. Looks like this guy is bad, but they're kind of normal Anum. This one over here, this guy and this guy are sisters. Um, they have a lot more of a Chinesni look to them. All right, is that all the little ones over here? I think it is. Pretty cool space. Next up we have the Oval Garden, I'm calling it. It is uh, 15 of these 10 gallon grow bags that I used for um, the edge of what is a raised bed, essentially. You can see some mushrooms down here feeding my ground. In between them I had, eh, let's go, go look at them quick, I had some Matapino crosses from Matt's Peppers. I had these guys all over there. Uh, as you can see they're a lot shorter and they got uh, pretty, pretty shaded out. I'm going to get close up on these guys. These two are awesome. That is a Matapino purple. And that is a Matapino by Purple Flash. It is just dark black. But they got shaded out. Uh, as you can see, you come back over here, and there was no room for them to grow under those big guys, right? So I moved them out and let these guys all take over. 
So what do we got? We'll start from this side over here. Um, we have the white Moruga scorpion. These are real big fat pods. Oh, there's a nice white one. Then we have a bubblegum 7 by SRTSL. Pretty cool. I picked a bunch of these pods already. These I have not. This is a Bootla. Chocolate Bootla. Pretty loaded. Next is a DD Testinint, I think. Testinera. I'm not really sure. I think it's Testinint. They're pretty cool though. They have a nice shade of color changing. We have a butt orange Copenhagen, I believe. That is pretty, pretty loaded itself. Next up is a thunderstorm. This is a purple one I, I've been putting a, I'll show you in a second here. These guys got cool lightning like strikes. I was putting a purple, one of the purple crew, every other, so right here, skip this one, here's another purple guy, skip this one, another purple guy, this one is the Thanos, it was actually a cross, this is 100% not what it's supposed to look like, but I am not complaining, we skipped over this. Sunrise Scorpion, pretty loaded. It's called Sunrise because they, like you can see here, grow upward and then fall down when they get a little too heavy. And that one went bad. We have a Carolina Reaper by Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. This plant has not been the healthiest, I don't know, maybe or I haven't been watering it enough. A lot of the pods that, that have come good are going black for some reason. We have a Peach Reaper, I think DS. This is a starting to ripen pod. And we've got a few ripe ones in here. There's a good view of that one, pretty cool. And there is the Apocalypse Scorpion. These are a very, known to be a very good tasting, super hot. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty prolific plant, but this one, this one, and that one may have gotten the least sun out of this whole area. And they've not grown as much as the rest. We get over to the Dreamweaver. This thing, this thing is a beauty. Look at all those. We have a seven pot primo, which is basically an incorrect pheno here. Um, oh well, the same right here. This is from the same seed stock. Primos should not look quite like this. Um, but oh well. And some more. And then lastly, we have a peach ghost jambi. You can finally start to see these getting ripe in here. A week ago, there was only like seven. Let's do the inside here now. We've got a Venezuelan tiger by SRTSL again. There's two of them in there. There's a, another Venzenka in the middle. Behind it is some Aleppo crosses. Then we have this Frankenstein bubblegum. That's the only bubblegum, huh? Well, there's some. They are pretty big pods, but they haven't really gotten the bubblegum to them. <laughs> then we have another Carbonero Orange Long. These ones are, are actually longer and not just bulbous. And there is the Gorgong Hob. These are the yellow ones. Pretty cool shape. 
and then Tangerine TS. There are those guys. There's three of those plants in there. One in the back, one right here. The red ones we're seeing are Ugandan red hobs. Just loaded plant. Pretty decent sized hobs and loaded. In the back is an Aleppo. And then you're seeing again the Venezuelan tiger cross with the yellow pods over there. Lastly is a Tobongo. These are, that is actually a TTS, I can see. But here, those red ones back there are the Tobangos. They're a sweet one that grows upward. Um, we have my Bacatum section, the Bacatum, who knows. We got the peach, Peppa peach, not peach do. Uh, this guy just fell over and I was like, who gives a shit? Let it go. And we have Ahi Guyana, the new favorite pepper of 2023. I noticed a big, big deal of slug damage in there. Oh well. Um, we have my, my favorite plants, the mini olive ricottos. It just looks like a quilt. It's beautiful. Get to the back side here and you can see the, the pods underneath it a lot better. Got these little little olives. Um, get up in here and we can see a whole bunch. This is a 15 gallon with two of them and a seven gallon with one. Let's see them all in there. Cool purple flowers. And then we have the same deal, two and a 15, one and a seven of the Chiltepin by Lemon Drop. These are also very loaded. Get to this back side here and you can see, next to them there's a 15 with two Ahi Cho Cho Chamba something. I spelled it wrong and I'm pronouncing it wrong as well, oh well. Then we have Orange Tie, a much thicker tie. Softer as well, uh, but supposed to be sweeter and better tasting. Then we have two Brazilian starfish. They got big old wide canopies up here. And a heat crystal. I need to pick these red ones and then I'm going to pickle them. There's a, again, one and a seven. Two and a 15. I would have to say that every one of the sevens did better than two 15s. I don't know why. Uh, maybe not with the mini olive ricotto. That one's hard to tell. But I think there's, uh, I don't think that has twice as much as that one is basically the case. But if you look at it, it takes up a lot less space as well. Uh, you can kind of cram two plants in one little spot. So next season I'll have to decide exactly how I, how I plan this all out. The one I skipped over actually was a Scotch Bonnet Freeport Orange. One of the better, tastier Scotch Bonnets from other people's opinion, not mine. That little guy was over here. <laughs> didn't grow tall enough and kept getting shaded up by these monsters so he had to be moved or he would have done nothing. You can see he's got these little little branches just trying to go anywhere. Um, then we have the main garden. This is 11 rows of eight I think of super hots. Uh, we'll just hit some of these in here I guess. These are the Orions. These are very cool looking ones. Beauty. I have four of these plants going. It is the, the four in a row here. Each one has a little different, you know. You get to these. There's those guys. 
pretty. And this is a different, ooh, that one's just going ripe. Looking cool. And then there's those guys. Those are great. And that's gonna be the one I share and save. Then this front row here is all Kang stars. We've got Peach Starkist, two in a row, then four in a row of the KS LSVs. There's the last one. And then there are two KSPSs. I don't know if that means it's different than a Peach Starkist or not. There's a bunch more over here. We have a Jay's Peach Ghost by White Scorpion, or by White Ghost. Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion by White Ghost. That's what it is. And then a White Knight, which is said to be the same thing, I think. Um, then we have a DD Rhino Cross. That's not the correct female. This cool bubble gum over here. Berry gum purple. I think this is incorrect. But it's really cool. Big fan. We have, ooh, the first ripe peach. Peach. Brain collapse peach, that's what it is, okay. Uh, and then we have some KS LSB crosses. One turned out white, and the other turned out yellow. Both with the same shape. Um, let's get in here a little bit. We've got another dream weaver. Uh, this plant isn't as cool as the other one. And another purple gator jigsaw. This is a lot more dark, or does it just have more exposure to the sun? It might just have more exposure to the sun here, and is therefore seemingly throwing a different pheno. Uh, back here we have another bubblegum by Pink Tiger. I don't see the bubblegum on the top like I do on the other plant. We can go further in here. We have, what is this, Purple Phantom. These are great. Look at those. Really cool pheno. We have an incorrect pheno over here. I'm going to go on that one. Um, another DD Testament. I'm going to try to shimmy in here. We have the Gator Jigsaw. The famed Gator. We've got one here going ripe. You can hardly see a mustard color to it. We can get further down here and see these guys. Pretty nice phenos. Um, here is an orange pheno. I don't know if it's a pheno or a cross, actually. Oh, you got a better view of the of those guys. And then we have a chocolate gator over here. Chocolate gator or a gator crossed with a chocolate habanero, I think. Big buds. There's a second plant. Over here, can we see anything? I don't see anything. Oh, down in there. It has more some scorpion phenos. Let me get up out of here. Alrighty. We have some seven pot Sheridan. Bubble gum. That's what most of them look like. Have some uh, peach ghost or peach goat. G O A T. Sorry. Big old huge pods on those. Then we have a beast. Bahamian beast, which is the red one. And then the yellow one is also planted as one. 
but it might be across. Here is a lemon yellow brain. There's two of those plants you can see in there. Um, cool peach one here. This is a big black mama right here. Then we have these chocolate ones are just menacing. Gorgeous. Uh, this I think is a Fatali. This is a, there isn't a ripe one to show you here. Another Fatali, but it's going orange or red. Um, this is a cool brain strain by Fatali cross. I've got two plants going over back over here. And then I'll actually try to get into this little nook. Get some stuff in here. It's not very easy. All right. I don't know what this is, but I saved it from the farmer's market. Big fan, very thick walled. Uh, we have an orange scorpion, which seemed to have crossed. I think it's with the KSLSB. We got a peach bubblegum over here. What is this one? A Naga peach bubblegum. Those are cool, they're pretty prolific. We have a, ooh, a star screen. A peach pie with this big old stinger. You can see them all with them. Very cool plant. And we have a chocolate massacre right here. Absolutely loaded. I've picked so many pots from it. More of the chocolate massacre. Um, deep into here, I haven't really been. This is some uncharted territory, folks. Look at all those peach pods in here. Wow. Pretty cool. Focus. There it goes. Pretty loaded. I like the look of those pods. Um, do a little zoom into here. These are all a wrong pheno. I should just pull that plant so I can get at these, but uh, I don't want to. So, I think this is where we'll end it. Uh, this is it. Thank you for watching the Garden Up.